What's happening, everybody? What's going on? What's shaking? YouTube. Okay, we got we got the Hot Logic Mini right here. This is what it is. We are cooking in it today. We are trying it out. What's up, Light Bright? We're cooking in the Hot Logic Mini today. What do you think? What do you think, guys? Isn't that a nice little package right there? Look at that little thing. So, what we did is around 11, about 11 o'clock or so, 11.30, I made a meal in here. I put it in here from the from the freezer. Right, from the freezer. What's up, Mike Lynn? What's up, bro? So, I'm going to open this up. Let's take a look. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got in this little hot logic mini look at that look at the steam all right so let's let's take this out Ooh, that's hot that is hot folks let me set that down for a second close the lid up what's up SRO now this is what we got we have some peas and carrots over here we have a frozen chicken breast now we're gonna take the lid off of this. Man, this 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 container's hot. And this is one of the containers you can buy to put it in, right? And uh, they seal up really good. Look at the steam. Look. Look at that, folks. That's our chicken breast. That was in there for oh about three hours you know uh, here's our chicken breast all nice and moist let me see if I can pick that up without burning myself because it's hot Ooh -wee, that's hot here we'll flip it up look at that chicken breast look at that smoke oh yeah put it in there frozen and these are frozen peas and carrots right here. Check them out. They kept their nice shape and consistency. Let me try them. Perfect. So, yeah, it was frozen. It. So what I did is I just dumped the peas and carrots on this side. I bought those containers and you can reuse them so you can get like 16 of them for pretty cheap but I reuse them and put the peas and carrots on this side the frozen chicken breast on this side put the lid on just stick it in there and it, I could have left it in there for five hours I could have put it in there you know at 11 o'clock or lunchtime and ate dinner eat dinner at five or six doesn't matter it stays just like it says the peas and carrots aren't mushy. They've been in there for, well, three three hours or so. Use the hot logic. Use the hot logic products, Kevin. Yeah. So, if you go to hotlogic.com. And put in the code BRN, Big Rig Radio Network, just the initials. You'll get a big percentage off. It's 20, 25%, somewhere in there. Let me try this. Hmm. Man, that chicken breast is boys. This is way better than those stove things. You know what I'm saying? Way better. Way better. What's going on? What's up, overtaxed? We're just eating some chicken breast. And some peas and carrots. That's what we're doing. Cooked it in a hot logic mini from frozen. Let 
and it's steaming. Now I'll hold up a piece of it. So you can still see the steam coming out. That's good stuff. Let's say I still got steam coming off the peas and carrots. Mm mm mm. I give that cooker two thumbs up. That is a nice. That's a nice cooker. I'm gonna have to order the. Uh, I'm gonna have to order the larger cooker though, because that way you can cook two of these containers if you want to. But now tomorrow, I'm gonna put in a frozen, uncooked hamburger patty and we're gonna try that we're gonna see what happens with a frozen uncooked hamburger patty we'll leave it in there see what happens what do you think Kevin what will it do with a frozen uncooked hamburger patty what will it do leave it in there yes it will cook meat from raw Nope. And we'll cook it from raw, and we're gonna do one tomorrow. That's our all. We're gonna put one. Yeah, that's a small one. It's it's steaming like crazy. It's working good. This is tasty. They cooked the chicken breast really good. We're going to try frozen hamburger in it. I might put the frozen hamburger in it right now and just let it sit there and cook just to test it out. You know, the burger thing? We'll find out, Shadow Wolf. We'll find out. Right? We're going to cook it and try it. What's the worst thing that can happen? We just eat it anyway. Eat it anyway. You know? Well. Ah. The chicken breast come out good. I know what they are with a the discount. They're in the 30s, I think. Um, the bigger ones are like pictures. So you have to go to the website, take a look. Put that code in, I think it's 20 or 25 percent. Well, chicken's good. Or you can do what Kevin does. You can get some containers like this. Because they're reusable. If you're going to be out the week, make up seven or 14 of these. I got the, the compartments that are separate. So I'll put a vegetable in here, broccoli or something. And a meat product over here. And then, there you go. Yeah, the bird works good as long as there's no bones. So... That way you got a good vegetable, basically steamed, and some meat, good weight loss product. Let me see if you get an empty box from them. Yeah, Dave, you probably could. 
I don't see why they wouldn't sell it to you. We're doing like an Alex Express video. We're cooking and eating. Hot Logic Mini Demo. Shadow uses one. You've been using one for a long time, right? A debate on this load or not. I haven't booked it. Don't know if I want a deadhead over there or not. I'm sure that's a deadhead, so 45.5 on the weight. So I can haul it, not many people can. So I'm just gonna wait. Let's see. But we're starting to eat healthy, right? Way better than fast food. Idaho to Illinois. We go. You gonna stay over at James's house? All right. Let's put this down for a minute. I've been on a low. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> Let's see if they send me something. Buy it, Snorlord. <clears throat> Get some of that big money you got. <clears throat> you just got paid a huge amount of money. And buy one. Oh, I got I got a message. The best they can do is 300 on that load. Keep your junkie load then. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to do at least five. You know, my my perspective is this. <clears throat> I don't care how long the load is. I don't care if it's five feet. I don't care if it's 10 miles, 20 miles, 100 miles. The minimum the load should pay is 500 bucks. Minimum. It's a minimum. Especially if it's, you know, if they want it delivered, it takes up your whole day. It's minimum. Anybody who does it less than that's losing money. You know, you got to take fuel out of that. Yeah, you, know, you got to take stuff out of that, right? Expenses. So you at least want to build a net 300 or so, you know, depending on your expenses. Think about it. <clears throat> Think about it. These cats, these cats go, can't go out and rent a truck and trailer for $300. Let's say the loads go to 120 miles. That's sixty dollars of fuel, right? So if you get if you get everything, everything, that's only two forty for a whole day. Tractor and trailers worth more than two forty a whole day. Worth worth way more than that, right? Worth way more than that. So these guys that are running around taking those loads for that. You know, two, three hundred dollars for a hundred something miles. The day will come. The day will come when that truck breaks, that tire blows, costs them four or five hundred. They didn't make nothing on the, and they've done it every day. They didn't make nothing all week because it all went to the, the tire. You know, they lose enough money that they'll wisen up. You know, smell the roses, whatever you want to say, smell the cob, whatever you want to say. Whatever you want to say, there's a there's a Snyder guy right there. Want some chicken, Snyder? Got some chicken here. Got some peas and carrots, man. You want some? Come on over. It's 
Oh Lord, I got an email. From a guy that went to Snyder Orientation. And he left Snyder Orientation. Because he didn't have a sliding fifth wheel. So they're gonna make him put a sliding fifth wheel on. Which we all know that's expensive. And then the recruiter didn't tell him you gotta pay for tolls now. So when they come to that part of it on the second day. And so and he lives on the east coast. Well, you got to pay his tolls. That's why he was going to that there because, you know, they covered East Coast tolls. Not no more. So he said he got up and walked out. He got to go somewhere else. So he's got to pay tolls. He might as well, you know, go on to where he has more choices, I guess. It's going to be a game changer, isn't it? Oh, you all talk about contract freight. I went to pick this load up. I had an 11 o'clock appointment. I got there at 9. Guys, so you got to go two buildings down, wait for door four. It's okay. I go there. There's a guy sitting at the door. So I walk out to him. So you in door four? He said, Yeah, I'm in door four. He said, Door three is broke. That's what they told him. He said, I've been here since 7 a.m. I think it's 10 o'clock now, you know. I'm like, great. 11 o'clock, parole's a little. So, he's dropping hook. He said, yeah, we have four trailers over there. I said, why are they live loading you then? He said, well, you know, the guy showed up late, got the trailers out of here on a and they're late on Friday night, and they didn't have time to load them. So I'm live load now. And um, so they're making them suffer, right? Making them suffer. So much for contract freight dropping hooks, right? So anyway, the guy come out. He said, he's going to be a long time. Why don't you just back at door three? And I was out there in an hour, and he was still there. I drove over and got my paperwork and left, and he was still there. What a shame, contract. What a shame for that dropping hook. I'm just saying. Dropping hook's only as good as the company pulling the loads. Like that company. Dropped the ball. All their loads going into there. People took their time, delivered as late as possible, and the customer had no trailers to load. Now this guy's paying for it. Just saying. So what's everybody up to today? Snow Lord? Am I eating a keto friendly diet? I got chicken breasts. And I got peas and carrots. What do you think? Look at this. Oh, chicken? Chicken? I'm making Dave hungry. There's some good chicken. I'm on a diet, Snorler. I figured I'd start a keto diet. Like still are though. And um, maybe I get down to that 160 by the end of July. What do you think? 
think I can do it. I'm probably breaking the diet rules though. Because I, I do eat some fruit for a snack, right? Like apples. You know what I mean? Well, you want to know the difference between AOBR and ELD? That the mega carriers are going to have to find out that a lot of their, you know, some of their loads aren't going to be delivered. They're going to get them out because their contractors aren't going to be able to, or in, in their drivers, like to run as many because they can't cheat the system like they do now. So the AOBR, you could you could have a five minute interval, which means you could pull up to a, the receiver and you got to drop and hook there, right? You know you're going to be there at least half hour, so you're going to do a 30 minute break, right? So what what they do is they pull up the gate, put their self off duty, they go in there to check with the guard, so check with receiving your thing stamp, put it in whatever slot and. You know, and then you get your bill, bill, bills, and you'd go over and pick it up out of another slot, and you can leave. So what they would do is they get in their truck, they drive down these, you know, big long complex, stop, because they'd put them on driving. So they'd hit it off duty. Since it wasn't a five minutes, it goes back to off duty. See, so they still been off duty. Then they'll go in and check in, come back out and drive. They'll put them on driving, then stop for they back it in. Didn't take them but two or three minutes. They didn't do five, so they put it back off duty. That off-duty type just keeps accumulating, see? And then they go over and pick up their loaded trailer, and then they finish off however many times they hit the button. They go back off-duty, they finish off that 30 minutes. Oh, my 30-minute break's off. But now, with an ELD, as soon as you roll X amount of, you know, RPM or whatever, they can't do what they just did. It's going to put them on the drive line, and you can't fix driving. You can't go back and fix that. So they're not going to be able to take a 30 minute break and do all that good stuff, right? No swearing. Yeah, no swearing. Uber notification. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, now let's see. Let's see what they're notifying me of. All right, what do we got? Oh, I'm getting all kinds of notifications. They must be putting loads on the board inside. I got my truck posted. Let's see. I got two matching loads tomorrow. Do I want to go to Sterling, Illinois? See James? Huh. Look at that. It's not bad. Three dollars a mile. It ain't bad. Uh, I'm going to hold off for a little bit. Maybe the rates will go up a little bit. We'll, we'll hold. Yeah, let's hold. Yeah, we'll hold. Because I still got the counter offered me on this load here. Uh, Coyote did. But I didn't take it. I didn't take it. Now Convoy's getting a hold of me. Man, look at all these. These loads are just flying into this telephone. Well, I got a bid for them too, but. I want, I want $900. Oh, another Uber notification. Oh, man, look at this. The stuff is just flying in. So let's see what we got now. What do they, what do they come up with now? They added a load. Yeah, I'll still wait. We'll still wait. Let's go back to, let's go back to that coyote load. It's still there. Oh, another notification, see? Just keeps hitting. So we'll see what they put.
No. I'm not hauling mulch out of Waterloo, Indiana. Sorry, folks. Not my trailer. You gotta spend all day cleaning your trailer out. So no matter what it pays, I ain't hauling it. Stuff's still warm. Not bad. No. Oh, another one. The freight's just hopping, right? Another one. I got five matching loads in that day. We'll probably get 30 more of those mulch loads. I passed up on one of them because it did one of those, you know, posted this morning at a certain rate and then dropped the rate the next time you look at it. So I didn't click the button. So I didn't play the game. What do you think, Store Lord? Do you think it should go up 45.5? Just wait it out. Problem I got is my stuff's floor loaded. I couldn't believe I was picking up floor load. They said this was automotive. It's not automotive. What kind of, what kind of garbage is that? It's gonna rain. Anyone see the comments? Good rate. No, well, one of my guys went down to Florida for uh, what was it? It was two something a mile. I don't know, two and a quarter, two thirty, I don't know what it was. Picked up in the same city, came out of there for four dollars a month. He's gonna deliver that load. I'm grabbing another two seventy five or so a month. Down south, right? He's down south. So it ain't that bad, right? Check this out, Alex. If our guy was down in Florida, so I'd tell him to do this. There, power only. Drop your trailer, hit this power only, take this load, drop and hook, round trip, Lakeland to Hialeah and back, 900 bucks. Picked up today. Run down, drop and hook, come back. 900 bucks. That ain't bad. You're down in Florida. All right, so anything else we got going on? Anything else we got going on today? Oh, here's another one. Here's another one from this guy, right? He sends me. He says, you got anybody in Washington? So no, I don't have nobody in Washington. 
drop and hook. Round trip. Power only. $1,100 from uh, Kit Washington to Spokane. Back to Kent. $1,100. Bucks. Yeah, what else we got here? I need to find some work, right? Gotta find some work. I got a load on the truck, but I gotta find some work. So let's see what we got going. I might take that one load. I don't know. I might take that load. That's good money, right, Pam D? Oh, look at this one. A water load. Now, see, if this was tomorrow, I'd be on it. 220 miles for a thousand bucks. I'd be on that. I'd be on it. So that's why I'm not jumping on these other runs. Because I'll wait. Because this is a floor load. So as we're unloading it tomorrow, I'll wait for one of those last minute jobbies like that. To hit the board. Click. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just click it and go. What else I've got going on? There's a couple dollar mile down, dollar load down there to Ohio, to uh, Miami. Ah, they just posted another one. What did they hit me with? Maybe they got one of those. And wouldn't it be something in one of those for tomorrow? Six loads. Let's see what they are. All that mulch garbage. I mean, they're paying good, right? They're paying good on it. I just don't want to haul it. Might have to, though, because it is paying good. You can check it out. Well, if it's the soil, it'd be no problem. Oh, they just keep hitting me with this stuff. All right, let's see what we got now. Seven latcher loads. El Rio, Ohio. It's all going to Ohio. So I'll wait. I might go run one of those. I might. I might run one. What we got? Five thumbs up. No, oh, there's one tomorrow. Ooh, and hey, they're getting closer. They're getting closer. Let's see what we got going on here. That meet my criteria. I'll keep waiting. You know why? Because the, the price will go up. Price will go up. So. You guys are watching me take my lunch break. So now, I might get some bees. So what do I want to talk about since the other people have left? What should we talk about good that they've missed? Should we throw some golden nuggets out there? Well, the rates have gone up. So, you know, they can't say, oh, you know, doom and gloom, doom and gloom. It's just a reciprocal thing, right? Like the stock market. People bail because they get 
oh, it's going to be a, you know, forever, forever type of thing. And you just got to, you know, run your company right so you can weather the storms when it goes up, you know, when it goes down. Because you always say, oh, I'll come back out there when the rates get way up there. Well, look at what all they missed from point A to point B before, well, say from point A to point C, because when it gets to B, it's still not high enough for them to say, oh, I'm going to go out there, right? So the guys already out there have made all that money extra from from what they are making at the, you know, big carrier, right? So their profit isn't going to be as huge. Um, so yeah, so let me see here. Yeah, so we're almost we're almost at January levels, which is good. We're twenty some odd cents, twenty three, twenty four, something like that. Uh, odd cents better per mile than last month. Uh, so that works. That's good, right? Now I sat here so long, my chicken getting a little cold on me. Chicken's getting cold, Alex. His air conditioner done. But anyway, the mini worked good. I like it. We're going to try hamburger it tomorrow. Frozen, not cooked. Not pre cooked, frozen. We're going to see what happens. I got these grilled chicken breasts. Frozen, right? Pre cooked. Tyson or somebody. Put one in there. Got the frozen bag of uh, vegetables. I got about six bags of those different vegetables. Put them in there. I got 12 of these things, but I'll use probably four or five, just wash them out. Then put the food back in. I don't pre-package it. But you could do like Kevin does, right? You could, you know, spend a, a few, you know, 30 minutes or an hour or something, cook you a bunch of meals, pre-package them, put them in the freezer. Or think of this. You have a lot of leftovers at home when you're home. Put all the leftovers in these things. Put them in the freezer. Then stick them in the freezer in your truck. And then just stick these in the Hot Logic Mini in the morning if you want them for lunch or at lunchtime if you want them for dinner. Let them stay in there for four or five hours. It's just like a slow cooker, you know. It, it'll still be at 200 degrees five hours from now. Nice and moist. Doesn't dry out. You know. Save yourself some money on food. Because everybody knows when you cook at home, you got plenty of leftovers. Just put them in your containers for work. Freeze them. And stick them in that cooker. The reason why I like that cooker over the stove is you can put plastic, metal, you can put whatever you want in it, and it cooks it. Right? It doesn't matter what it is. You stick this in that one stove, and it's going to melt it. You know what I mean? One more piece of chicken and we're done. Now wash this out. And I might even book a load. You know what I mean? Record high stocks, record high employment. Parking lot at Walmart is full. It is full. Even with the so-called tariffs and stuff, you know, going on. Even with all that. And they're still crying. They're still crying about... 
the president and everything about how bad it is. It's only bad for them. Because they're not the working person. See? It's bad for them because maybe they don't get to go out and ride around in their limos and fly around the country in the jets. Because to do that, they gotta take more money from you. That's why. What's up, Pamela B? See, we washed it out with some water. And uh, we got a paper towel holder right up here in these uh, internationals. Get me a little, little piece of Viva and wipe it out. Then when I get home, I wash them up, use them for the next time. Ain't no sense of throwing them away, you know? You know what I mean? Do a little dishes here. Yeah, that was good. And I got one of those small freezers, right? That you plug into the cigarette lighter or an inverter. That works. That works great. Keeps it at minus four in there. Way better than those igloos because it's an actual freezer. It'll hold a ton of these. And this is a small little thing, too. Small little job. But, you know, nice and clean. Just put the lid back on her. And uh, that'll be that. Snap it on. Nice little. Nice little meal thing. I'll put that back in the cupboard so I'll take them all out when it's time to call it quits. Um, I could get another one out. Put a hamburger patty in there. I'll do that in the morning. I might I might cook cook a couple of those. I might leave them in there all day just to see what it does. Just to test the thing, right? Like I say, no matter how long you leave it in there, it comes out moist. So we'll see. What I'll do is when I get up in the morning, 8 o'clock, I'm sitting there getting unloaded, stick one of those in there, then take it out at 5 p.m. and see what happens. That's what we're going to see. All right, what do we got here? More notifications. We're getting notified. So, Dave, get that, get that APU put on your truck. Quit messing around. Pamela wants to get out there and make some money. Make some money. And you're messing around. You know, he wants me to call him, help him out. So when I call him, he's not available. Can't pick up the phone because he's charcoal all over, you know? Uh oh. The, the boss is giving me some text messages. Um, I could be in trouble. She's writing me. <clears throat> She's trying to take care of me, right? Wants me to live forever. So I can build this company. Um, We will read this. <clears throat> All right, so we're out of here, folks. Thanks for watching. I know it's totally boring. Um, remember, when there are a lot of loads are hitting the board, 
just pull it out a little bit for the extra, a little extra, extra. Uh, because it, it'll, it'll, it'll get there, right? It'll get there. Um, it'll get there. Another, you know, I got tons of brokers wanting us to haul loads. But you can only do so much, right? Got to have a truck there, uh, ready and available, right? And since we all pick our own freight, uh, a lot of guys are booked up. Like Al, you know, when he came on, I booked, you know, he wanted my help. I booked him up all the way up until Wednesday night. This was last Friday. He booked up all the way until Wednesday night. So anyway, we're out of here. We are going to uh, get a little fuel. Well, probably at the mom and pop because these pilots are overcharging. I can go up the road and get it for, let's see, it's three, 315. Up the road it's three, it's uh, 250. 65 cents difference. Does that tell you something, folks? That they cater, they cater to the mega carriers, see? So they give them 60, 70 cents off a gallon to equal the amount of hot rice. So if you're at a mega, if you're at a mega and, and uh, I guarantee you're not getting 60 cents. You're probably getting 30 of it. But that's another story, another day, another time, right? Just like the IFTA. Maybe we'll go over IFTA because if you're at one of those places, and you're, you're paying IFTA by the month, and your IFTA is always $50, $100, $200 plus, that's almost impossible. Almost. That's why if you have trucking office, and you put all your loads in it, and you put all your fuel in it, and then you run your quarterly IFTA, guess what? You might find out that you've been overpaying a huge amount of money. But you'll never know unless you use the right stuff to keep track. Got to use the right stuff. What's up, Cluster Trucker? Nailed it. What's going on? Uh, yes, we use one, two, three load board. You can get it for 35 bucks a month. We use 48035. 4, 48035. You get it for 35 bucks a month, every. Got it right here. Let's see. It's gonna come up with what I have searching and looking for. See, I've called on this load up here, this one down here, and uh, they're not paying exactly what I want, so there's another load on here. Right here it says 46,000 pounds. That's the load I could get. 